Mr. Speaker, sir. Reply to start question number 28. A. Sir, the status of the Garnold Small Hydro Project stands at 66.60%. B. Sir, the target for commissioning the project after the 2014 approved cost is May 2022, sir. C. Sir, the estimate of the above project has been revised within the last one year. D. Sir, the project cost has been revised to 507.71 crores. The reasons for the increase in the cost of the project are as follows. One, increase in the quantity of items specified in the construction drawings approved by the Central Water Commission, New Delhi. Two, addition of new items as per the approved construction drawings. Three, increase in quantity due to geological reasons. And four, time overrun. From the replies of the Honorable Minister, uh, I could understand that 66% of the total quantity of work has been already completed. And remaining around 34% is uh, pending. So when six, up to the tune of 66% 60, of the total work quantity has already been completed, how can there be a geological surprise, geological reasons as stated by the Honorable Minister? Because geological reasons or geological surprise can be only underground, not overground. And when the work has already been completed with 66%, then the work quantity underground should have been already completed well long back. So I would like to uh, get the reason and uh, reply from the Honorable Minister. I would not have the details as to 66% went into which components, sir. I will require notice for that, what the Honorable Member is asking. But, sir, um, 66% of the work has been completed, sir, and uh, the geological surprises came in the form of uh, soil stability and things like that, as you rightly pointed out, sir. And um, the, uh, the construction of the surface penstock had to be um, made into the underground uh, penstock, sir. So, that was uh, one of the reasons why the cost went up. And there are many, many factors, sir. But um, I think, um, so it's, um, what is uh, important here, sir, is that um, the most of the work, 66%, which is pertaining to um, the civil construction, sir, has been completed. And the rest of the 40% is there, which also there's remaining certain amount of civil construction and also the uh, electromechanicals which are left, sir. But uh, to answer his question, sir, I can give him a breakup of um, how much has been spent and uh, how much has uh, been completed commensurate to that spending. So I can provide that details to him, sir. When this month's amount <coughs> of money is being revised, means being additionally required. The minister in charge should have been done proper investigation, proper homework before going to sanction the additional amount as being indicated in the revised estimate. And when the House wants to know the reason as to why this much amount, I think from the original estimate which was approved in 2014, 151 crores additional amount has been revised in this uh, revised estimate for this project. So when this much tune of amount of money is being uh, additionally sanctioned, then I think the Arnold Minister should know the reason as to why this much amount has to be increased in the original estimate. 
So I, I, I don't get satisfactory reply from the honor minister. And uh, this much reasons should have been uh, given by the honor minister orally not by uh, taking time for future because this should have been because in the last session also this question came but then we didn't get the supplementary uh, we didn't uh, get the time to put supplementary questions this is very important sir because lots of money from public exchequer is being drained out so we would like to know uh, we, will, we, will, we will like to get categorical reply from the honorable minister um so speaker sir so this uh, project, uh, I'm sorry to say this, but uh, when it was prepared, sir, and the DPR was prepared in 2007, and the tender was floated in 2007, so the, the project itself was not a viable project, sir. But however, for reasons best known to the government at that point of time, sir, the project was tendered out and then sir what happened was um, the, when the DPR was prepared sir the, I'll, I'll go to the whole genesis sir to explain the whole matter sir so this uh, stage one of the Ganol small hydro project sir which is for 22.5 megawatts was originally accorded administrative approval on May 2008. And this was at a cost of 177.52 crores. Sir. However, it could only be implemented sir, in 2014 after financial support from the state government. And in 2013, sir, it was in the sitting of an empowered committee that government of Meghalaya agreed to extend financial assistance to MECL in the form of a VGF viability gap funding to the tune of 100 crores. Sir. And uh, the cost was pegged at rupees 332.68 crores. Sir. So then in 2014, MEPGCL had to revise the project cost on account of increase in the cost of land as per the new Land Acquisition Act 2013, sir. And then the revised cost estimate came to 356.43 crores because of this, sir. And uh, subsequently, the administrative approval also was accorded by the government in 2019, sir. Sir, the, the details what honorable member is asking for is he wants to know, sir, where the money was spent, into what, uh, uh, which part of the project. So that's a very detailed uh, thing, sir. And I'm willing to place it on the table of the house, sir, because it's, it'll unnecessarily consume uh, time, sir. But when honorable member casts aspersions like we have not done our due diligence as a government, I think that's very wrong, sir. I mean, the government has due diligence, has done due diligence, and we have examined this whole project. The fact of the matter is, sir, that the right from this stage of it being conceptualized, the project was unviable. And uh, despite the fact that the project has been unviable, we as a government have taken a call, sir, that this project is very important for Garo Hills. And that is why the government has revise this cost and given administrative approval for this revised cost sir. because we want to see that this gov uh, this project is completed in time and this would be a very important project for Garo Hill sir so I think that honorable member I don't know maybe he doesn't want this project to take off I don't know that sir but I think that it's very important it was important at that point of the time for the government to think about whether we just let whatever has been spent on this project go to waste, or we give additional funds so that this project can see the light of day. And the, the, that's the call that the government took, sir, that um, we must not let this expenditure, whatever it has, whatever expenditure, expenditure has gone into this project, go to waste. And that's why, sir, we took a call on that, sir. 
But it's wrong on the part of honorable member to <coughs> cast aspersions like that, sir. And uh, I hope that, you know, he refrains from doing such things, sir. It's very wrong on the part of the honorable minister to say that the questioner is not willing to get this project take off. I have so much of interest, that is why I have brought this question for information, Mr. Minister. And when the honorable minister is replying, he is giving whimsical replies, not coming to the point. Because the reasons that he was mentioning was not serious. And he is using the word I think, which is ambiguous. I also know the, this part of English at least, Mr. Speaker, sir. I think means it may be or it may not be. This kind of replies are not expected from the under ministers, Mr. Speaker, sir. And the background they're talking about, originally in 2007, when the scheme was sanctioned, it was only 155 crores. And subsequently in 2008, when different government came, the present chief minister, honorable present chief minister was himself was the power minister then. Then it could not take off. Then because of the time overrun, it has to be revised again in 2014 up to the tune of 356. There should not be any blame game. But then sincerely, there should have been concert, concerted effort to make this game complete. Timely, Mr. Speaker, sir. So what is your question? Please? Now, my, No, this is important because it's, it, it will question lead hour, to misleading so please come the, to the question. Yeah. So in the reason given also, it is stated that increase in the quantity of items specified in the construction drawings approved by the Central Water Commission, New Delhi. These details we would like to get within this session, Mr. Speaker, sir. Uh, and the question, another question, means this is asking the information to be uh, furnished uh, to this August House within this current session. And I would like to know from the Honorable Minister whether any grant has been given uh, to MECL for this particular project. The total funding pattern for this project is loan, sir, is rupees 223.11 crore, sir. Equity is rupees 54.62 crore, sir, and the, low, and the grant component is rupees 229.98 crore, sir, taking the total to 570, uh, 507.71 crore, sir. Mr. Speaker, sir, after this uh, estimate was revised ultimately in September 2020, how much grant has been given? given to the mission. This is the last supplementary question. <clears throat> Minister, please be specific to the question. Yeah, can you repeat that question, sir? After the estimate has been revised in the last year, how much grant has been given to MSL? So that's what I was talking about, sir. 229.98 crores, sir. So when it was given? The exact date, sir. The honourable member wants the exact date. I don't have the exact date, sir, but the last grant was 30 crores, sir. So that must have been... I don't have the exact date with me, sir. That means that <coughs> 30 crores... Your yeah, supplementary uh, is over. No, this yeah. is... Any same, other same member can ask. Same supplementary, sir. Yeah, but my hand up, sir, please. My hand up, sir, please. Uh, may I know from the minister in charge power, when he mentioned the word project not viable means, with the tune of, uh, may I ask the uh, honorable minister, with the tune of investment of 507 crore, whether feasibility report has been prepared before starting this project? Mm. I require notice for that, sir, whether 
pre-feasibility report was conducted prior to the making of the project, sir. Um, I'll require notice for that, sir.